There is nothing in your life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Does it come to you? You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. Which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. So I just need you to think about three people in your family that you love, three people. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. You have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button, raise your hand for me, you want to hit the snooze button. So watch this, this is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you gotta think about, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. When you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunts, when you think about those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is, you get every f***ing morning at 4 o'clock and you suffer. That became my new f***ing life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, mother, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing, you got to get the job. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing shit, but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do shit when you feel like doing shit. But they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, you, I'm going to do this anyway, and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions can thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you're finished, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you're completed, when you're executed. Execution is worship. 